Carrie! It's a Carrie! I get to see Carrie this weekend and those long fucking legs and those short, short shorts. K Fitness 3. <laughs> oh, hey, it you! <laughs> All right. I'm going to play it more than once, but let's have a little fun because I, I, I was having a few laughs with you guys on DM before I got on here. Wildfire! Here is the debut. I have a video, of course. Yo, Nucky, what's up, Wayne? Gonna get to see you this weekend in person, finally. Mass on sub. Yes, and here is my my song parody. For First of all, thank you very much for joining us today on Hot Stuff Nutritional Presents Muscle Sport Radio on a Tuesday instead of a Monday. You guys know why. And uh, we are Moke, what's up? I'm going to be hanging with the Moke this weekend, too. Crystal, Moke, Carrie, I Am Nucky, C-Dubs, fucking uh, Kat Vong, uh, John Starner. Who else is going to be there? Tiffany, Todd. Hey, hey, hey! Kian's on there. What's up, Kian? I didn't see her come across. Iron Head's Jim. All right, here is the first, the first song... And it will be a video. I have to finish editing it, putting some B-roll in it. Uh, Nikki, <laughs> that's again. Nikki, <laughs> all right. Let's play the song quick. This, of course, is dedicated to the unsub of Big Rob Fitness on March first. Let me know if you guys can hear it okay. Of course, a parody of Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young's Ohio. March 1st is almost coming. He's gonna be on his own. That day's a mess on subbing. While Rob's in Ohio Gotta get down to it This troop is cutting him down Should have been done long ago Stop! What if you knew this and Left him on your sub list How can you watch when you know Yes! Neil Young, David Crosby. Oh, you got to see the video how I'm digging it. Scoop, this uh, this is what I was telling you about, Scoop. I told you I would come through, and sh I shall. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, thank you, Scoop. Southern man. <laughs> Midwestern man, we'll call it. <laughs> Joe is getting up. <laughs> I am. I'll be jamming to the... Maybe I'll go into the song parody business. Like we and Al Yankovic. You know, fucking... <laughs> Herb Joey Yankovic. <laughs> March 1st is almost coming. Pick it up, Octave. Yeah, I gotta do second track. That day's a mess of something. <laughs> Wild Rob's in Ohio. Wild Rob's in Ohio. Wild Rob's in Ohio. Wild Rob's in Ohio. Gotta get down. Wild Rob's in Ohio. Loud in the city. Wild Rob's in Ohio. Wild Rob's in Ohio. Loud in the city. Stop it, John. You better run. That's right, little man. You better run. Now, I have to body for the parody songs. Kanye West joined. Now, I have to add other tracks to it. I want to do, like, some background vocals and stuff. And I want to, of course, add the, the Rob, actual Rob lines himself. You know, as you, as you guys well know, I have a few of them handy every show. Um, I'm out here talking. 
Tupac allowed in the city. Stuff like that. Stuff like that. Uh, you know, we're gonna have a little, uh, a little fun. Order 66 Big <laughs> Rob Fitness. Maybe even we'll throw uh, another Team Humanity person in there. Attention everyone, <laughs> I'm the new leader of Team Humanity. Oh, but yes, ladies and germs. <laughs> Fucking Muscle Sport Magazine at the Country Crush Muscle Sport Media booth. Booth 1060 at the Arnold Clancy. Keith, you just missed my Ohio song parody, but I, I shall let you hear it. Kim Haynes Fit Ass, happy belated 19th birthday. It's your 19th birthday. Kephas and Kim, <laughs> Joe the White Shadow. <laughs> oh, you saw my coaching uh, <laughs> my post. Don't worry, they'll catch the song because I have to do, like I said, more editing and I want to do like some photos in there. I was thinking of like putting like the Kent State girl screaming and you see Rob laying there dead, you know, just for a few laughs. We are going to have a lot of fun, Stevie. Thank you. And there's the bug bouncer. I need to, I should have, I should have known you years ago when I had crabs when I was a, a single successful guy. Happy birthday, Kim. I would cream pie her. You and me both. Kim, where is my used panties? <laughs> the, the, the panties. Miami Dan, what's up, Dan? Oh, but thank you very much for joining us today in Hot Stuff and Church from Central Muscle Sport Radio. Heard every Monday, but today it's Tuesday on Muscle Sport Mag Instagram Live. And tonight, Crystal Dot Wildfire Dan Anthony, Wildfire Weekly, and Kiefer says piss clams. Hello, is Jim there? We were stepping on piss clams together. <laughs> He said we could walk on the beach and step on piss clams together. <laughs> Kim Haynes says, hey, hey what? That's your 19th nervous break, 19th birthday. Felipe Diga, what's up? Just woke up to baby, woo, perfect timing. All of you guys that missed the song, please check it out. I am going to get it up on YouTube. I'm sand on my ass neck. See, Bradley Mail Prick knows it, Keith. <laughs> hey, Kim, how come you still single? Are you going to set? I oh, you man, <laughs> you little man. Yes, my little. Uh, what, what was I? Five foot seven, um, one hundred and seventy pounds. <laughs> Kim Haynes for this is hot stuff. Yes, more hot than hot stuff itself. It's so hot I can't even touch it. I wish this was her ass. <laughs> uh, Joe, blame it on Rob for the denial coverage on Arnold's. Yes. Oh, that was that was funny. And thank you for the support. You guys gave me some funny fucking comments on there. What's up, Joe? You going to Arnold? I might be going. Johnny Juice, if you go, we are going to be at booth 1060 along with Ray Cody, Autumn Cody, and the Country Crush crew. I kill crabs. I can't believe it's not butter. John Starter, Lucky Luke, what's up, Luke? I got warts all over my ass and genitalia. What about driveway gravel? These are not questions you should be asking a pharmacist. Always, mm, Kim. Is Big Rob still going to the Arnold? I certainly hope so. Who's the sponsor? Hot stuff. Not hot as Kim stuff, but hot stuff entitled. Sounds personal. <laughs> Big Rob, uh, hopefully he goes to the Arnold, and he is more than welcome to join us at Booth 1060. We will welcome him with open arms and butt cheeks. Uh, shout out to Ariane's biggest fan. He's my mentor, my friend. Scoop, I will, uh, I will take care of that later. I'm going to make two versions for you. A short one just with the beginning. And um, and then, then you could utilize it any way you like. Kim blew up the internet of, oh my God, did she? The tits, the tits and the ass and everything and the face. You did not age. You had that throwback Thursday. I, I, I would have fucked you just as fast now as I would then. <laughs> Matt Grillo. What's up, Matt? It definitely less, it definitely less stress. And it's not, and it's only 15 bucks. So it's Corey Everson, ex-husband, died. Really, Jeff Everson died? Seriously, he was the guy who did, um, what was that bodybuilding? I actually like that bodybuilding magazine. Oh, fuck, what was the name of it? 
muscle some shit. <laughs> I don't know that all muscle some shit. <laughs> the tits. I fuck better now. Ooh. Uh, well, let me. I'm gonna build a time machine. Keith and I have been working on it for a few months now, and we're gonna go back in time and we're gonna tag team you, and then we're gonna come back in time and tag team you again. Jeff Everson died. I'm sorry to hear that. I always, I always thought he was pretty cool. Just as fast meaning as he is a minute. Planet, su planet muscle. Was that it, John Morris? Planet muscle, muscle piss bodybuilding. Kim Haynes is the Dick Clark of female. <laughs> yes, she is. She is. She doesn't age a day. Suppress the stress with butt sex. You guys should order pizzas. The booth. He doesn't have a booth. <laughs> we have a booth. Order pizza to us. We'll eat it. Hope you're a good, brother. Kephas loves Ariana's biggest fan. We speak about you a lot in the gym in the morning. R.I.P. Saul. Now, I, is it confirmed that poor Saul of the Delray Misfits did pass away? Kephas, you are killing me. You got to see him in person there, Kim. He's got a fucking huge hammer. <laughs> oh, Kephas. I know, we need to get Kephas back on. But me and Kephas, we got to do more stuff together. I want to do more sports stuff. Saul, Saul Rosenberg. No, but there's a real Saul from the Dara Messimits. He was an old guy when they first started. Joe, what's hot stuff? I want to buy it. Well, this is Testosterone Potentiator. It's kind of like a, 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 it's kind of like a weight gain of protein together. I, I kind of I akin akin to Russian bear if you guys remember that. And this is an anabolic BCAA five thousand. Crystal Wildfire's favorite fucking uh, <laughs> his uh, his wife actually passed away. Who Saul? So is Saul still alive though? His wife Marsha. Joe, blow a kiss. <laughs> now put that on a video with a big black cock fucking hit me in the fucking big nose. Chris Bra, new universal order. What's up, McLeod, McLeod, McLeod? You gotta do something with that. I'll send it to you as well. I want one of your masterpieces with that. We're gonna have a little fun at someone's expense. McLeod, Joe. What's up, what's up pal? What's up? Are you going to the Arnold Schwarzenegger Clashic? That's why I can't barely hear you. Are you going to the Arnold? No, I'm not. I wish I was because uh, there's a mass movement happening across the United States now. Donald Trump gave the executive order to unsub Big Rob Fitness on 01 on 31. So everybody, yeah. you heard it first. Donald Trump supports unsubbing Big Rob Fitness. And if the president says it? And I must follow said order. He's going to lose his shit. What is his uh, actual number up to? Is it like 1,500 or something? Uh, it's like 1,600, which is probably like 99% fucking trolls. Uh, I, I, I'm, I had no idea that he actually threatened to shoot uh, Jay Masters in the head. And I he talked did. to Jay about that. Yeah, Jay did a live yesterday, and it became public knowledge that Rob threatened to put a bullet in Jay's head, and then Jay was going to call the uh, local PD to report that to them, but he called Andrew instead, and then Andrew talked to uh, Rob that day, and that's the day Rob made that video with him crying in the living room with Andrew's my mentor and everything. Oh, that's why. Now yeah. it clears up. Oh, he fucking threatened to put a bullet oh in Jay Master's head. That the only thing I would say that was more fake tears was fucking when Johnny was in the call with Jason over the Rich Piana comments. <laughs> yeah. Those were the only tears that were more fucking fakening. Well, <laughs> the, like I said, the movement the movement has started. The piss militia, the Knights of the Piss Table have started the movement to unsaw Big Rob Fitness, so... <laughs> yes. March 1st, 2019, right at the strike of min... The stroke and strike of midnight, because I might be... The stroke, the stroke of midnight on 01 of 31. Which is going to be great, because he's going to be walking around the Arnold. <laughs> now, I hope, you know, the, th the difference with Jason, the, the Jason on sub was because I think, I think a lot of fucking people you know, made like 4,000 accounts to sub and then unsub just to fuck with him. So, oh. you know, I, I hope it, you know, with Rob, it'll have an impact. Uh, we'll see. 
Well, if you hear the lyrics to my Ohio parody that I played at the beginning of the show, mm -hmm. it it's, uh, it's definitely tells the story in a right. few, uh, you know, a, a few different verses, if you will, and the chorus. <laughs> so it's... <laughs> Rich Piana Scoop says, I can't help myself, but Adam looks like an Ewok without hair. <laughs> 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 Fucking guys. All right, Joe, um, I'm going to let you have your show back. I just want to say what's Adam, up. We will spread said word. Spread the word. You heard it here first. Thanks, bro. I'll see you later. See ya. There he is. New Universal Order, Adam McLeod, McLeod, McLeod. He does not ride a horse in Manhattan. That's the other McLeod. Bradley Malplick, play with Doodle, get freaky. <laughs> so uh, Big Rob um, threatened to shoot my buddy, the bedroom bully. Now, I mean, people say that a lot. I'm sure he didn't really mean it. And I'm sure Jay didn't take it as a, ouch, I'm scared threat. But it's just funny that he tries to get people in trouble for doing stuff. But he one-ups them by doing stuff that he can get arrested for. <laughs> like, if I really wanted to press charges, I still can. I think I got, what is it, one year, Keith, on a misdemeanor? I could technically, if I wanted to be a cunt, push that, get a lawyer and push it. And I have a fucking, uh, one of my buddies who I was a cop with, the fucking lawyer, Keith's buddy's a lawyer. I got plenty of people I could talk to about it. I just don't want to go that route. When's the last time you spread your humanity, Joe? Actually, um, about 11, no, about 12 o'clock I got here, and I was, uh, I was backed up because I haven't dropped the load since I fucked the old lady in South Carolina uh, Friday night. So I needed, I needed to jerk off before this show. I actually wanted to jerk off before I did my song parody because I didn't think I was Peter Brady with his voice breaking. I was going to be like in the, the purity, if you guys remember. My sister is an attorney. So, yes, that's right. I forgot. Suck up on your voice. Do it, Joe. No, no, no. I can't. I can't. Pedro del Zapato is Jason's friend. Who's Pedro del Sapo? He sounds like, uh, is he like an El Chapo? Spreading some humanity on Big Rob's ass. No, thank you. Hey, the queen has joined us. Subscribe, Crystal, and then unsubscribe. Granny, thanks. Oh, no, Granny. Hola, puto. <laughs> Jason is making me salmon and peppers in his magic shirt tonight. <laughs> queen of the Empire, sissies. <laughs> Lord, yes. <laughs> I'm going to press charges against you. I'm not pressing charges against Rob. <laughs> Oh, abuela, fix, como esta, coño? Oh, <laughs> poor granny. Poor granny always falling off the fucking back of the truck. Wolfpack, yo, what's up? Ah, you know, bueno. Neta, no love me. Still no bueno. How about that puta, his girlfriend? Alicia Tease. Yeah, I've been enjoying that Alicia Tease. Alicia Tease is definitely a tease, but that's good because it gets me horny. Teasing is good when you're an old guy. <laughs> you just jerk off and don't get in trouble. So your office is like your go-to place for self-pleasure. <laughs> Absolutely, who gonna close? Absolutely. <laughs> Jay Masters. <laughs> Granny Fix, the puto Nate return from the Walgreens corner in Medicina. <laughs> Did you see the Stephanie Walgreens guy had put his real... Uh, count up his real name and picture and he's doing like he wants to put on like uh, you know drop weight and put on muscle and shit I think that's great man it ruined my fantasy though I was hoping it was a chick getting my work out and listening to you Matt Grillo what's up bro tease me baby <laughs> she don't make my dick hard unfortunately really Chris I'm shocked Pretty much anything with a cunt makes my dick on. I leave for the Arnold on Thursday morning. Joe is so deep in the piss. Pedro, oh, that's Pedro. What, the fuck? what is that, a troll thing? Joe, where's veggie soup? I don't know. I didn't get 44 fucking requests to come on. My dick is too spoiled. My dick was never spoiled. I think even if I had a fucking group sex session with all the Kardashians, including Bruce Jenner, I'd still want to jerk off afterwards. 
<laughs> I wouldn't mind, mind banging the mom, man. You only fuck baboons, monkey press. <laughs> yeah, so we are going to be at the Arnold Nude Vista. Yes, I was actually using that today to prep. I was prepping my own bowl. <laughs> and then I finished off with a special clip that I shall, that shall remain nameless. But believe you me, it was good. Lenny hasn't seen his duck since 94. I didn't know he had a duck, that's cute. Teaching dance, yes, he teaches dance lessons to the girls. Joe, teach us how to drive that straw. <laughs> Did you guys, you saw my post with my boys yesterday. Oh, man, I I had some, yes, a special. <laughs> it was fucking hot as hell. <laughs> Joe, are you going to appear at Titan's booth? Is, does Titan have a booth there? I got to touch base with uh, uh, John and um, and Sharice then. Schmo Patrol. Hey, man, I was fucking on. Old booth 1060. Now, you might get fucking pushed off the MD boards if you come to me, because when I get you on camera, I'm going to put you and fucking, uh, fucking Rob on the spot and ask you about fucking rear window fucking hairy ass. Robert, yes, how great was Robert Kraft going to a rub and tug? $79. <laughs> I'm like, I'll go there. <laughs> I think it's great. Leave him alone. He has a 35-year-old girlfriend. He got to get jerked off once in a while. <laughs> Am I allowed to film at my, my booth? I'm going to do whatever the fuck I Well, it's not my booth. I'm actually, I'm, I'm a guest at the booth. Joe Schwartz, are you going to be at the uh, Arnold Classique? And, and I saw your thing with the 5% booth. I know Caleb's going to be there. If you are there, we need to meet in poison and have a libation together in the evening on the Instagram live. 100 bucks, Rob gets arrested at the Arnold. For me, because I can't run as fast. Yes, Maya, I will be there all three days at booth 1060. I'm coming Thursday night, and I'm leaving Monday morning. I'm coming to the Arnold, Joe. Watch as Big Rob's lost, bro. <laughs> You're leaving tomorrow. Wow, that's, that's quick. I mean, that's early. We need to hook up, Mr. Schwartz. Um... D, let's DM each other's uh, cellular telephone numbers so we can t t t t t text each other, use that texting device. Um, but, yeah, we're going to be at the Hyatt Regency. We have to interview Denise again. Oh, yes, I want to get I want to get hugged by all the fucking, <laughs> the fucking muscle girls <laughs> at Denise's booth. <laughs> oh, man, I, I got fucking horned in a lie. <laughs> I even tell them to their face. Like, Elisa, I <laughs> You make me wonder. <laughs> See you Friday. We'll be there Thursday noon. Oh, okay. Well, I'll be at the Hyatt Bar, right? Dan, correct me if I'm wrong. The main bar, the big one, and Crystal, whoever else that knows us, because I'm drunk all the time. The the second floor thing, that is the Hyatt Regency, I believe. Do I think Craig Titus will ever be released? No. Because he was the mastermind behind that. She's on the same end as us, just two rows over. Ooh! So I can go... <sighs> How many have off to Denise Messino's masturbation video with a fucking flashlight on her clip? <laughs> Just off of Starbucks. May I say yes? <laughs> uh, Just my archive. Yo, what's up, brother? Yeah, so we will be at the Hyatt Regency doing Intoxigram Lives. Um, we're going to be eating, obviously, before that. So in between that... Friday, Dion, my wife and kids will keep me in line, but Saturday will be able to party. Oh, great, Stana. Good. I guess you couldn't drink with us last year because you had that shit. Uh, uh, Joking forward to Crystal bringing it. Oh, <laughs> the Destroyer. Yes. Destroyer. She's in town. Are you drunk right now, my nigga? No, but I have some fucking souvenirs from some, some, uh, South America, South Carolina. Wait. <laughs> I like chicken and I like tea, but I don't like no siree. There's two known things that'll make you. is a hog eating slop and a big, you know it. I'll show it. 
like a barnyard rooster, I crow it. And the NAACP, which you'll love to get their hands on, hate me. I went to the Webb Military Museum. How dare you? And I bought some goodies. I got a Don't Tread on Me flag. It's a three foot by five foot flag for the tea party. And I also bought <laughs> the stars and bars are flapping. <laughs> yes, but the Webb Military Museum was a, uh, a great, great fucking place. I highly recommend it for you guys that are in, uh, um, it's in Savannah, Georgia, actually. It's Savannah, Georgia. It's not in South Carolina, but that's a quick ride from where we are. I have that flag on my head. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny! Yo! Looking sharp, Johnny. I haven't met the friend of me in the right <laughs> Is your booth going glutes? <laughs> yes, it's striated glutes. <laughs> Fuck those commies. It hillbilly. <laughs> Put that flag on your green screen. No, no. Listen, um, I bought this as a fucking goof. You know, I was just fucking, Matt Hughes is losing his mind. Crazy, Mikey, what's up, Mikey? Mikey, this is the one I was telling you about. Web Military Museum. This place is fucking amazing, bro. I need to do a few pics wearing nothing but that flag. Oh, do you want me to bring it? <laughs> I'll bring it with us. I'll put it right in the fucking... Uh, I you know what? I'll bring both that don't tread on me, too. Definitely want to fucking get some pictures of that. Alpha Marky. What's up, Alpha? <laughs> Snorting cocaine with the don't tread on me. I do not use cocaine. Don't have any desire to do cocaine. I'd rather sniff pussy. <laughs> okay, so I'm bringing... All right, Crystal, here's the flags in the bag. <laughs> I'm putting it with the, um, the Kamasi Kama, the, the, the tablecloth. Matt Hughes' twin brother and wife had him arrested and got restraining orders. Now, you're talking about Matt Hughes' MMA fighter, Mike? The UFC fighter? I had a chance to uh, interview him and hung out with him in person a couple of times. He's really cool. I try cocaine, I think. No, you don't want to try cocaine. Cindy Kaspersen, what's up? How are you, Cindy? <laughs> Sniffed soiled thongs. Absolutely. Matt Hughes, really? Me and Greg interviewed him at the 2013 Arnold, and we were hanging out with him. And uh, who was that? There was a uh, Ravens running back. I forget his fucking name now. Big black. And uh, he's retired now. But uh, um, we interviewed uh, two of them. And we were hanging out with them uh, behind the fucking, uh, it was actually the, um, what was that company's name? They merged with Europa now. Texas some shit. Lone Star. Lone Star Supplements there. We had, uh, we had, we were doing some shit with those guys. MD. When me and Joe were doing uh, Joe. Jamal Lewis, thank you. Yes, <laughs> big black guy. <laughs> he was cool, though, man. Both him and Hughes was really cool. If people knew the history, that hat wouldn't bother them. Johnny, you know what? I, you probably know more than me. I'm a war buff, but I haven't really studied the Civil War. I'm more Vietnam and World War II. But I'm really starting to get into the, um, into the Civil War because it's a real interesting fucking war. And I'm talking about... Just historically wise. I'm not saying the wrong side won. I don't have to stop. If anything, I would have been fighting for the Union. I'm a fucking New Yorker, but uh, you sure it wasn't telling some shit? <laughs> <laughs> Crystal, I love you. You, just, you pick up every fucking line that I say. <laughs> and it's great. Joe, Jared's transformation is meeting up me to do a few rack pulls on Saturday. Oh, yeah, Jared told me he's coming, so we're going to get to finally meet in person. And he's 21 now. I can get him booze. That's a cookie cut. <laughs> cool. You're right. It is a cookie term, but because Fonzie invented it, I'm allowed to say it. <laughs> because we're guineas, even though he's really a Jew. <laughs> he tried burning his nephew's tractor. Who, Matt Hughes? He has a twin brother, Matt Hughes. Joe, did you ever think about a phone call interview with King Robbie? No, I wouldn't do that. I find that, you know, I think that would, uh, I think that would be wrong. 
um, I wouldn't, uh, if I was like serious, like if this was like a serial and I wanted to interview him about, you know, like the football game and stuff when he played with his uh, city team that one game. But because I do this stupid shit, it would be taken, uh, you know, even if I did it right, it would be taken it wrong. Oh, roll call. Yes. Thank you, Crystal. I, I know I did it last year. I forgot to do it this year. I've, I've been busy. <laughs> I blew the engine of my 14 BMWs weekend. What did you accomplish? Over the weekend, I uh, I came home Saturday. Joe, we are going with Trump, right? Yes, of course. Either that or I'm thinking of Beta O'Rourke. He's cute. <laughs> it's a troll question. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> beta, get the fuck out of here. He's a beta male. It's a perfect name for a fucking millennial faggot twink like that. He choked his wife out in the shower and smashed her face. Who, Matt Hughes? Holy shit. Have you heard of Tommy Robinson? No, I don't, Stufa. Who is it? Give me uh, give me some more info. Sounds cute. <laughs> Big Rob thinks he's the man now because he had the Michigan running back in one of his videos. Yeah, I saw that. I saw one of those videos. It's the real Michigan running back. I'll sell you the TM. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks, Mike. I think Kig Robbie is getting plenty of pussy. You got a few beers. <laughs> Are you going to the Arnold, Joe? Yes, sir slash ma'am, because Marky could be chick's name. Tommy Robinson is a nut. Good, we get along fine. <clears throat> Booth 1060. Focus on leaning out. The she said he can build clean size. Has a year to go. Too bad advice. Thoughts, Arnold. Hold on. Yes, Arnold, but someone told me he was big enough and should focus on... Who are we talking about? Matt Hughes, has he even beat his twin brothers? So, oh, fine. Great interview with Sean Ray. Oh, that's... When did, did I put that out yet? Or was that the one on Skype? Because I have one from the LA Fit Expo. I don't think I put that up yet. Uh, but thank you anyway, Dan. I appreciate it. What's up, a big Frank? You still talk to him? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, as far as I know, he's doing good. I mean, I haven't spoke to him like a lot but um he commented on one of my posts the thing with the uh the, the arnold uh denial and he was like you know making some jokes about it boot 1060 for muscle boobs and laughs yes fucking real raw and raunchy someone told jared he has enough mass joe a year away he competes in these natural shows though so you have to look at it from a natty standpoint Joe, talk about the sex parties after body the expo. They are wild. I have never been invited to one, Pedro. Rick Flaherty. Frank's doing well. Oh, Joe, you're friends with him, too. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's how I met, well, met you. That's how I got to know who you are through Big Frank. Frank, um, you know, listen, I love Frank, man. I wish he still was doing stuff with us, but he had a lot of shit going on, and he had to take care of it. And I told him, anytime you want to come back, the the door will never be closed to a man like Frank. Talked to Frank last week. Oh, good. I'm glad he's doing good. Yeah, he's been, like, posting on Facebook and stuff. So I've been uh, I've been checking him out on there. I don't go on Facebook that much. That hat would go nice with my shirt. What are you wearing as a shirt? Are you wearing um, uh, Jussie Smollett, uh, free Jussie Smollett shirt? <laughs> Frank is awesome. I talked to him, too. Yeah, so we're all in agreement that big Frank is a Big cool dude. I said cool again. Big Rob designed the sex enhancement product body poppers. But <laughs> are you going to interview Hulk Hogan at the Arnold? Is he going to be there? I did see him there one year in like the restaurant, but there was like a whole crowd of people around them. Me and Greg were there. We're like, just like, oh shit, that's Hulk Hogan. That's pretty cool. But I, I, I don't, and we weren't in, we were at the, the, the restaurant. We were at the restaurant bar. The quiet one, not the Hyatt. I forget what that other hotel is. It's the one me and Greg stayed in when Blackman paid for it. It was an expensive one. <laughs> That's why we stayed in it. <laughs> oh, you're giving Chris kisses, Kim. I'm jealous. Hulk Hogan Beach. I love Hulk Hogan. Always have, always will. And then I, 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 I think he would like a hat like this as well, judging by his sex tape. Big Frank back with 5%. Um, I think he might be doing some stuff with them. Joe, you could probably answer that better <laughs> if I'm not sure. I'm just, I'm, I'm thinking he did mention something about that one time, but it was a while ago. 
Cool, cool, cool. Yes. Cool. <laughs> Joe, did you ever meet the Macho Man? No, I never met the Macho Man. I wish I did. Snap into a Slim Jim. Can't meet him now. He's dead. <laughs> Smack my 2020 shirt. Promoted by Big Lady. <laughs> Steiner, what's up, Steiner? Jarrett Jernay, we are going to see each other at the Arnold. And you're 21 now, so I can finally buy you that beer that I've been promising you for fucking two years now. I'm glad. Beer's on me! As I take a sip of fucking water. Uh, hi, Jared. Jared Jernay. Hopefully you'll like the shout out, bro. I like every shout out. I always appreciate your support. You know that. And I will reciprocate every chance I get. Eat the whole fucking egg. These pics of the grass, Craig. <laughs> Crazy stuff online. Whenever I search ape on steroids, I can't find a single pic. I'm curious to see what a monkey on gear would look like. I'm not even touching that, especially wearing this hat. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> what's going on, bro? Oh, your Rasta. Finally got a sponsor, Joe. Alpha Nutrition. No, oh, very cool. Good for you, Steiner. Did you ever read Hard Gainer magazine? No. Was that one of the ones that Greg was showing on on uh, his Country Crush video? I never heard of that one. That's weird. I got to check one of those out. I'd love to just, like, buy one on. Uh, maybe I'll buy one off of Greg. He sells them on eBay. <laughs> Might as well give him the fucking business. <laughs> Laugh my eyes. You have to be 21 to drink in the U.S. Yes, in some states, um, <clears throat> I think it's state to state. It might be full in the U.S. Yes, 21 now, but back in the day it was 18. Yes, it was 18, then it was 19, then it was 21. Uh, they changed 18 and 19 really quick. MSM is the screw magazine of the fitness industry. <laughs> President Joe Pierre, 2009. Yes, we are the screw magazine, and I'm that fat, hairy Jew that owned it. I forget his name. But he was funny. He's a Brooklyn guy. I used to, one of my, uh, the, uh, the sector that I was in, in the 6-7 uh, precinct, me and my partner, John, uh, it was right near where Screw Magazine um, used to have their warehouse back in the 80s, believe it or not. 16 in the UK. Yeah. Wow. That's good, man. I think in Montana, you could drink at six and fuck your cousin. <laughs> And have twins, Alec. <laughs> Just watching, Joe. What's at yours, Arnold Class? We are going on Thursday, Steiner. We are going on Thursday. 18 in Sweden. Oh, cool. So you guys are lucky, man. Because obviously you never tasted a drink until you were 18, Chris Brar, I'm sure. You never snuck a sip. Cousin Jeg har ikke glent tegnen in dine. Live at bare gal akrat. No, Beklaga! I don't know what that means, Viking. I hope it means I like taking it in the ass. <laughs> For two reasons. <laughs> what about Germany? What's, your, what's the drinking name? What did Crystal say? I missed that. Legal at 18 to vote and fuck up the country, but not all of them can make good decisions about drinking. That is true. That is true. I think 18 is, is old enough where you can drink. I, that's what I think. Because... I don't know, because I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> That's what I think. No problem, because you take your time. It means sorry, cousin. I didn't forget about your drawings. Oh, does it? You look like general in my schmo army. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I thought Cindy was saying some dirty talk to me, and I was getting excited. Because when girls talk dirty, I get excited. Vicking, I mean. Now, that just gets me excited because it looks like it's a typo, like licking or fucking or sticking. Because <laughs> the kid Haynes is saying it. It gets me wet. <laughs> My underwear has got a spot in the front. It's sticky like spiderweb sticky shit. <laughs> I'm going to have to put a little soap and water on that soycle. <laughs> Oh, I can't type today. Are your fingers sticky? 
The Arnold is a lot of fun. Yes, I do have fun there, especially when I'm drunk. Joe, you perv. You're damn right. Lou D'Onofrio stuck a crack pipe up. No, come on. Stop talking about Lou. I like Lou. We used to buy booze in Germany on the way to the Alps when I was 16. Man, you must that must have been pretty cool, man. You were uh, 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 going to the Swiss Alps, and you went through Germany. That is fucking cool, bro. I learned that in Russia up until 2000, and considered anything with less than 9% alcohol a soft drink. <laughs> there was no drinking age on those. Wow, that is fucking cool. Cindy drank at 15 when she lived in Germany. Does your wife call you daddy? No, wait, hold on a second. <laughs> Over the clause. Does your wife call you daddy during adult time? I wish. My girl does, and she also calls me master. I didn't even come with the master thing she did. Oh, my God. That's great, Uga the Claus. Sounds like a wild time, Chris Bra. That was awesome. That must have been cool, bro. I'm serious. Even if there was no gay sex, it was still cool. <laughs> G-Code is going to the Arnold, Joe. You have me. I've met them before. I'm chasing them for an ad. Tell them to fucking spend a couple hundred dollars. Take out a fucking page in this for 200 hours. Jesus Christ. Vinny Galante's fucking... Telling them, and, and I, I, but he doesn't make the decisions. I interview Vinny every time I see him because I'm friends with him, and we're giddies. Uh, we used to smuggle 80% straw rum back to Sweden. Wow, 80%? I'm from the Mecca of Beer, South Germany. I didn't know there was a South Germany. I guess there is. I always thought East and West. You like being called daddy in bed asking for a friend. Over the clothes, that's classic Dom Sub Sub, Master Bar, Leather Daddy. <laughs> leather Daddy! Why do you call Brad Leather Daddy? <laughs> Those fucking photo ops are fucking funny as hell. <laughs> leather Daddy. <laughs> Schwartzwald Scoop. Listening to alcohol talk makes me want to drink. Well, Big Ladies Ab. <laughs> South is Munich. Oh, okay. Because I always just think of East and West because of that fucking Ruskies fucking dividing the country in half. With that. <laughs> Mr. Gorbachev. I like it when she calls me that. Yes. Have you seen the bloat lord recently? He's looking kind of solid, right? Grizzly? I think he's got, he's like a fucking, he's going to become like a fucking big bodybuilder. Leather Daddy Brad, it's because he secretly loves you. Ich werde mas Deutschland! Where are your papers, Cindy? <laughs> oh, man. Joe, I was asking you the daddy question. Oh, you was asking me the daddy question. I, you know what? I never got into that, but I think if it was under, like, any sexual circumstances, like, pretty much any talk in bed turns me on unless it's like, hey, daddy, and it's like a fucking guy, you know? That would probably make me, like, you know, I'd have, like, eternal dick. But um, if I was fucking abroad and she goes, oh, make me come, daddy, even if that's not my thing, which it's not, even when I was single, and not because I have a daughter now, even when I was single, I never, never got into that. But if I was banging someone and they said that, it would turn me on. I just got G-code to Norway, a native strength and iron and, oh, GIF, oh, uh, Jerry Ward. Get it fucking done, labs. Not in the AM, bro. Only in the PM you could be called daddy. What about master? Um, that would probably be better than daddy for me. Although I actually think it's more of a turn on if the girl is like the uh, dom and I'm the sub than me, like, because it's usually like when you're fucking your lady, you know, you're like the you know, aggressor. So if she's doing it, it's kind of, it's a little, you know, it's a little kinky and dirty. So it's a good switch. Uh, Chris, it's not code. I know what Scoop said. He wants to cream pie Kim Haynes. He wants her to be, he wants to be her poop bear. <laughs> That makes two of us. Ich wanna it Gutenberg. That's in Sweden. <laughs> but that hat, you wanna be called that? <laughs> oh, look at the clothes. You just hit one out of the park, bro. Boom! 
boom, Eddie. All right. It's going. It's going. It's gone. <laughs> what if she calls you bitch? See, that would turn me on. Like, I jerked off to Angela Savagno videos, and she's like, she's like, oh, you little fucking, like, she's like, you know, like, you know, dominant and shit. So I, that gets me off, you know. Uh, and she puts those faces on and shit. So, yeah, being called bitch and shit like that, bent over, strapped on, pegged. Yeah, oh, that's the problem. <laughs> Never had to do it, but uh, no, very open to suggestions. Vinny is a great dude. Hope to meet him one day. Yes, he is. He's um, been around a long time, man. He's been bodybuilding a long time. He looks fucking great, man. I think he's like, he's about my age, maybe even a year or two older. He looks fantastic. Florida. Proud Viking says Florida. That's where she lives, and she's moving back to Rochester, New York. Muscle Elegance is a great booth. They call it, but they don't call it Muscle Elegance. It's uh, Muscle Pinups now. But Muscle Elegance, uh, for you guys that don't know, that was the magazine. Dan is familiar with it, so am I. Greg loved it. Rob um, uh, Messino, uh, Denise's ex-husband, uh, ran it. I bet Joe has a KKK costume right from his bedroom door to whip. And shoe polish for the <laughs> Oh, my God. Yes, I, I put it on my beard. Yo, I was going to do it to small it. <laughs> the next time. Oh, thank you, Johnny. It's not mine yet. It will be, though. I will buy it. Can't take the New York out of the girl. You're crazy, man. Fuck this state. I'm running as fast as I can. Maybe we'll cross each other, me, self, and you, North. I'll wave to you if we get the window seat on the plane. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I was going to fuck with Maze uh, the next time I fuck up my beard, dog. I was going to say that fucking two black guys attacked me and put fucking shoe polish on my face and I cut it out of my beard. And they, they were going to put, like, a, a white collar around my neck with a tie. <laughs> my boy Rob has every video. He is a freak. Does he jerk off to them? Because if he doesn't, have him bo I'll borrow them. <laughs> Check out my Norwegian friend. <laughs> Joe, have you ever done any adult stuff in the far from such a place in you once? Um, um, yeah, like, you know, fucking high school, college age. We used to, like, try to, like, you know, hey, can we use your bathroom? Like, in in a restaurant or something, and I would bring her there and fuck her in the stall. Like, we would lock the door, though, so it wasn't the same, really. Joe's new place was a great place for wife swapping. Oh, I don't do that. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> only, only chicks can touch my wife. It's never happened, but I keep trying. <laughs> they rub their asses in your face and your beard turn black. <laughs> new York is a liberal cesspool. Yes, Mayor. And that's why... One of the reasons why I am getting the fuck out of Dodge. Scoop war here, Gordon. Ich hatte in Deutschland war 94, 95 Gant. I I would do good in Germany. I already know a few lines. <laughs> I will try to make my new logo T-shirts this summer. This summer, Steiner is going to make the Guilty Crew worldwide new logo T-shirts. So make sure you check him out. He keeps changing his fucking screen name, so I don't know what name to take. Steiner Steinbach and Guilty 84. <laughs> Joe, stop! <laughs> I got the accent. That's from watching all of those fucking military channel shows. It's pretty easy to learn. I would love to... I wish I learned how to speak Italian when I took it about a thousand times in fucking uh, school, but I fucking kept failing. Joe can easily survive in the third right. Thought scoop. Hey, fucking... Uh, Buff Brianna Moore, what's up, kid? <laughs> uh, wait, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. Joe, you heard that California made it a misdemeanor to intentionally spread HIV no longer a felony. Really? I think it should be a felony. Like, how do you intentionally spread it? Like, if you know you have it and you bang somebody and you don't know them and you don't wear a scumbag, is that, like, intentional? Or, like, is it, like, raping somebody? You love the hat? You can put it on one of your big boobs. <laughs> I learned it in school. Really? See, I should have taken a Rosetta Stone. Joe would have been a good Strumpartnura. Is that like a Hitler youth? <laughs> Joe, can we make a maiden's calendar? Hot. You see, I would jerk off on every copy. I wouldn't be able to mail any out. They'd have DNA all over them. 
Schnurrenbach, Nyora! Uh, and the company Instagram is Guilty Crew. Guilty Crew, follow Guilty Crew. Old Sean Steinfager. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just not using scumbag. <laughs> okay, so if you bang abroad, are you becoming a confederate now? No, but I was in South Carolina uh, house hunting, so I bought some souvenirs, some fucking flags and caps. <laughs> so I figured I'd just show the folks. Finish is impossible to learn. You never finish. Ow! <laughs> Oh my God! Fucking third grade is a funnier than me. Have you seen Das Boot? Yes, that's the boat. I have seen it, but not in full because you know subtitles. It's hard for me to follow unless it's a porno. Finish is hard as fuck, Ariana. I don't understand one word. Great idea. Maybe it's the hardest I've ever confused. Perkele Hasvito. I have an aunt in Somerville, South Carolina. That whole state is just fucking gorgeous, man. I had a rental, so we were driving all over the place. It's Mr. Me now because all the STDs say basically he's fucking worse than most. Daniel Carver. Oh, <laughs> KKK guy from Howard Stern. <laughs> Wake up, white people. <laughs> is he in South Carolina? I forget. I remember when he used to be on Howard all the time. Howard was fucking funny as hell today and yesterday. I, I love Howard Stern still. Since fucking, like, 84, I've been listening to him. I fucking love him. Since WNBC. My first car only had AM radio. And he used to be on drive time, uh, like, 3 to 6 or something like that in the afternoon. Because Imus was in the morning. And uh, me and my friend used to drive around my shitbox car and listen to Howard. And uh, it was fucking funny. Even back then, it was great. You're going to get in trouble. Stop it, Chris! Suleiman Puska! Chris, do you drive a Skoda or a Volvo? I have a German car, so I, 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 I believe that German machinery, definitely the best. Have you ever snorted a bug that you killed, like for a bet to earn five bucks as a kid? No! No, that I never did. Uh, Buick had an A-track. My 81... Um, Mercury Cougar XR7 had an 8-track, and I had a thing called the Rabbit. Not that kind of Rabbit, Crystal <laughs> and Kim. <laughs> this was a thing that was like an 8-track um, adapter, and you could put a cassette in it. But it played the songs too slow, so like when I had my fucking Kiss cassettes in there, it was like, room service, baby, let me out. It was like a little slow. So it was kind of fucked up, like... Come on and love me. Na, 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 na. She's a dancer, a romancer. I'm a Capricorn and she answer. Oh, I'm having some fucking good flashbacks. I fucking got laid like an animal in that car when I was a kid. <laughs> Crystal, do you like the rabbit? I think I may have asked you that on a live once before. And which part of the rabbit do you like, the shaft or the clit teaser? Caddy for me, Coupe de Ville, the elegance. I never had a caddy. It sounds like blasphemy in my neighborhood, but that's true. I had a Monty, though. <laughs> Monty Capulotti. <laughs> Is that your softball team, Cap? Yes. <laughs> the dead Confederates. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, the Harlem Globetrotters were called. Can you do a Chris Foley? No, I don't really know. I really can't do. It's okay, but I'm definitely a clit girl. A clit I'm Now I... Can I jerk off twice in one day at this age? <laughs> you can save your wife by dying, but never doing self-pleasure again. Do you save her? Yes, of course. But she has to fuck more. In high school. <laughs> yes, in high school. I have the fastest sob ever made. Is that like the Buick Grand National of sobs? <laughs> My first car, the one I'm telling you about with the, uh, the uh, AM radio, was a eight-cylinder, uh, I, I told you about this before, leaded gasoline V8 uh, uh, Ford Grand Torino. Isn't every girl a click girl? Probably, but... I have been able to um, uh, uh, fuck cunt with tongue and, and girl reach orgasm. So I guess you can eat.
pussy if you get the tongue in there good enough. Or maybe it was just this small nose that was just pumping against the clit while I was... <laughs> that might have had something to do with it. So I guess they're all clit girls. <laughs> Forget I said that. <laughs> A lot of girls don't like their clit sucked. Uh, they, you know, they'll say it hurts and stuff. Um, bodybuilding chicks... Because they have that testosterone uh, clit, so I guess they would probably be um, in the category that likes it licked. Uh, it sucked, like blown, like filleting the clit. <laughs> Joe, what's your favorite music? Heavy metal, 80s hair band heavy metal. Um, uh, classic rock, a very close second. And then, believe it or not, freestyle disco dance and classic disco. Yes, and Frank Sinatra and doo -wop. I kind of go across a lot of different genres, but if I had to say the best, I like Ozzy Osbourne, Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, that type of stuff. Ford Gran Torino is a rated car. Yes, yes, it was an underrated movie as well. <laughs> you can't be as aggressive, Joe, take it easy. Well, when I'm blowing the clip, <laughs> it's hard though. I get excited now. Like I start humping in the bed. And I love when chicks use their foot on my dick while I'm their pussy. That is...